is it really the end of skate shops? And this video is going to be explaining to you why and what is going to happen. So stay tuned. The first thing I want to talk about is how do skate shops actually make money? So let's say Primitive. Primitive has its own brand, it has own boards, clothing, hardware, etc. The way skate shops make money is by emailing or contacting Primitive, asking them for a certain amount of boards, a certain amount of clothing, a certain amount of whatever product they need from that brand. So now that skate shop has to pay Primitive, that brand sends the clothing to the skate shop. And sometimes some companies may give them a lower price so let's say a board costs $50, instead they would probably pay like $45. So the skate shops could have the same price as Primitive would have on their website. They give about 50 boards to a skate shop, and that's your local. They give another 50 to another skate shop, another 50 to another skate shop, another 50 to another skate shop, and they probably leave about 200 boards for themselves to put on their own website. So now you walk into the shop and you buy that board for $50, and now the skate shop makes a profit of five dollars but some owners will just or some companies will only give you the exact price that they have on their merchandise so if it board costs fifty dollars on their website they're only going to sell it to your skate shop for fifty dollars now your skate shop has to increase that price to make a profit so instead of making it fifty dollars you gotta make it fifty five in the skate shop and that's because every board that they sell or any merchandise that they sell they have to make money off because if they don't then they won't be able to pay their lease they won't be able to pay any of living expenses that they have there's a whole bunch of factors that go into a skate shop and getting their material to start selling now i'm going to talk to you guys about what's going to happen to the skate shops so if you actually think about it, a skate shop is really just a middleman in skateboarding. All they do is they get the product and they get it to your local shop to have it for your convenience and to make a profit, of course. They, it's not really an essential part of skateboarding. Back in the day, you would have to. You'd have to go to the skate shop, get your skateboard, get all your uh, videos, everything that you need from your skate shop. But nowadays, you don't even need that. You just buy everything you want online. The only time that I could actually think about going to a skate shop is for two reasons. One, my credit card isn't working or I don't have a credit card so I have to go to the skate shop and pay with cash. If I snap a board and I don't have any other boards at home, I have to go to the skate shop and buy a board so I can skate the next day. You can solve these problems very easily. One, just get a credit card or ask your parents for a card. Most of the kids don't have cards so they go get cash from their allowances and put it to a skate shop but you should have at least two to three boards at home and if you're on your last board you should be able to order more that's the way you can solve not going to a skate shop even though a lot of people are saying support your local it's not about supporting your local it's about adaptation and humans are very good at adapting to certain situations but if you go to their actual website to primitive their boards only cost forty dollars and ninety nine cents so if you go to Zoomies and you look for the exact same board, it costs $45.95. Again, some people may not have that convenience where they have to get that board the next day. But again, it's a lot cheaper to just buy it off their website than having to go through a middleman or a third party. So that brand is going to make a lot more money selling off their website than actually going to a skate shop because they know that a skate shop has to make profit, they have to make profit, and they also want to keep the price as low as possible for the kids or whoever's going to be wanting to pick up that board. What I think is going to happen in the future, and I think there's going to be a huge reduction in skate shops, simply because there is no need for it as it was back in the day. It's not as necessary as it used to be back in the day. I think that all skate shops should start becoming an Amazon. So what I mean by that is, if you order something online, you get it the next day or even less than the next day. You might get it in six hours if you put it in rush order. And that's what should happen with all skate shops. What people want is getting their product and their stuff as soon as possible. And so they don't have to go to the local skate shops and have to waste their time looking for something that they already know they're gonna be getting. And obviously sometimes going to a skate shop is good to know what something is, but if you already know the brand you like and all their stories and everything that goes with that brand, they're not gonna think about looking for something else, you just want that board. Skate shops have a lot of opportunity to 
make a lot of money doing the same thing that Amazon's doing. Making sure they have guys that can deliver the boards to wherever they need. But the problem is nobody wants the retail. Nobody wants to go to a skate shop and go there. And sometimes it's actually awkward because there's not that many people. It's only you and then like the skate shop owner is like looking at you. Like trying to find out what you're going to be doing so you don't steal or trying to see what you're going to pick. Skate shops just have to change. They can't be retailers anymore. They have to go into a warehouse kind of situation and start doing more of a pickup or delivery kind of routine and trying to get their boards out in less than five hours or something or have someone go out and actually do the deliveries as fast as possible to wherever they need. Honestly, that's what I think is going to happen. Uh, these are my opinions. If you guys think that something else is going to happen, leave it in the comments below. And uh, I want to, I can't wait to see what you guys think about that.